Our help is in, in the name of the Lord, maker of heaven and earth. It is relying on God's gracious help that we can step out into the adventure of marriage with confidence and with hope. God is love and those who dwell in love are dwelling in God and God in them. Uh, we met in the French Alps. Um, I was downhill mountain biking with some mates. Joe was there on a holiday with some random people. She was uh, with the, the, these group of guys and they had a, they, one of them had a puncture. Two of my uh, friends who were staying in the chalet with us um, stopped to help them and uh, it resulted in the exchange of a few beers later on to say thank you for the, the fixing the puncture up on the hillside. I went out with my mates that night and we, that's when I met Joe. Looking forward to his speech. I've never really seen him talk about me before. <laughs> I think he must do, but yeah, I'm looking forward to his speech. And seeing his face as I walk down the aisle. <laughs> if I speak in the tongues of men or of angels, but I do not have love, I am only a resounding gong or a clanging cymbal. If I have the gift of prophecy and can fathom all mysteries and all knowledge, and if I have a faith that can move mountains, but do not have love, I am nothing. If I give all I possess to the poor and give over my body to hardship that I may boast, but I do not have love, I gain nothing. Love is patient, love is kind. It does not have envy, it does not boast, it is not proud. It does not dishonor others, it is not self-seeking, it is not easily angered, it keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It, is all, it always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. Love never fails. And now these three remain, faith, hope and love. But the greatest of these is love. At first he could not speak, but then from somewhere deep inside himself he found a voice. I have travelled the world over to find you and to give you my heart, he said. But now that I am finally with you, I see how foolish I've been. You are so beautiful, so perfect, and my heart that was once smooth, so, so bright and so new, is now not something that I could, I could even bring myself to show to you, and he turned to go. Let me see it, said Dream Monkey. She took his heart and held it up to the light. Nothing to me is more beautiful. Every fissure tells a story. Every blemish makes you more real. All my life, I have been waiting for a heart like this, a heart that speaks the truth. Come here, she said, I have something for you too. In her hand was a tiny golden heart. It was as worn and as scratched as Love Monkey's own, and it was the most precious thing he had ever seen. Love Monkey put his arms around her, and they held each other for a long, long time. I shall treasure this heart for as long as I live, said Dream Monkey, running her fingers over its ridged, ridged and dimpled surface. Then they looked into each other's eyes, and feeling the joy of truth in their souls for the first time, they began to laugh. And often they sit together still, holding each other's hearts in their warm hands, lifting them up to the light and laughing, always laughing. In the presence of God. In the presence of God. And before these witnesses. And before these witnesses. I, Alistair. I, Alistair. Give myself to you, Joanne. Give myself to you, Joanne. To be your husband. To be your husband. And take you now, and take you now, to be my wife, to be my wife. I promise to love you, I promise to love you, to be faithful and loyal to you, to be faithful and loyal to you, for as long as we live, for as long as we live. Joanne, in the presence of God, in the presence of God, and before these witnesses, and before these witnesses, I, Joanne, I, Joanne, Give myself to you, Alistair. Give myself to you, Alistair. To be your wife. To be your wife. And take you now. And take you now. To be my husband. And take you now to be my husband. I promise to love you. I promise to love you. To be faithful and loyal to you. To be faithful and loyal to you. For as long as we live. For as long as we live. 
God has heard these vows and we are witnesses of them. It's a token of these promises and as a symbol of your marriage, these rings are now given and received. Preparations have been manic. Um, I've done very little, Joe has done everything. Uh, and you know, as everybody will see tonight and tomorrow, the attention to detail has been fantastic by her. Uh, it's caused a few heated moments with the amount, the amount of detail she's gone into, but it, I'm sure it's going to be brilliant. Um, Ali's mum wanted to make invites and I was like, I'd like to have a go myself. I've wanted to get married for so long and I had all these ideas and I sat there and designed these things and Ali's like, they're not traditional enough. They're not traditional enough. So he sent them out and everyone's gone, wow, I love them. So that's kind of set the theme and all our stationery we've done by hand. All the favours, we made jam by hand from plums in our garden. We really have gone all out. So it's been good fun, hard work and good job I work for myself because I've had time to do it. <laughs> I'm looking forward to everybody being here. We've got people from all over the world coming and it's great to, to have everybody in, in the building here tonight and tomorrow as well. So it's a 1949 Riley. Uh, I bought it, I saw it on eBay and what attracted me to it, apart from the fact that I've had a Riley once before, was it's manufactured the same month and year as I was born, January 49. So we have a relationship. <laughs> When Jo was looking for the bridal gown that, that she's uh, gracing today, she, she actually decided that she would go out en famille. She took Diane and, and Sarah with her, and she also took Diane's late mother. And the first one that uh, to Jo tried on is actually this dress. Now, if any of you have ever been shopping with Joanne, <laughs> like I have to go practically and buy, even when she was small, to buy a birthday card for mother, I know all the card shops in Bosco where we live because even if we found the right card in the first shop, we still had to look at all the others just in case. Anyway, they, Joe's grandmother loved this dress and, uh, and said, oh, that's the one. But Joe then uh, later on went around lots and lots of other dresses and about three months later said, I've decided I'm having the first dress that I tried on. <laughs> Pun? 55 dresses she actually tried on. I, I never count, I, I'm, I'm glad I wasn't involved in this, but it's, it's, no, it's no different than trying to buy a birthday card when she was small, I can tell you. But um, her Nan, who um, sadly passed away in the, in the interim, was, was absolutely delighted with that dress, and I'm sure she's looking down now. Ali's completed uh, some major achievements in his life, some of which others can only dream of. These include climbing Mont Blanc, running the London Marathon, just over three and a half hours, and surviving 34 years as my older brother. <laughs> <laughs> Ali's always enjoyed active, in the eyes of Muller, dangerous sports, <laughs> including rock climbing, downhill mountain biking, etc. So it was this interest which eventually led him to Morzine in the French Alps for an episode of psychotic downhill mountain biking, and ultimately into Joe's arms. So my final toast is to the wedding planner, the creative director, my best friend and my soulmate. Thank you for being in Morzine, for being on holiday with, I changed it to, from idiots to people. Um, 
Who couldn't fix a puncture? And having the need to flag down some kind Scottish gentlemen to help. For just being you and for saying, of course I will, and yes. I love you and I look forward to the first day of the rest of our lives together. I would like to pose, propose a toast to the new Mrs. Traqueer. I'm really looking forward to being a wife and I can't wait to start this adventure together. Hi Joe, I can't wait for the for tomorrow when you walk down the aisle and when we're husband and wife um, and I love you very much. <laughs>